Recording in progress. So we're going to unit three of sociology, social stratification. But before we go into social stratification, we are in a society, and the society that we are in, different people have different statuses, they have different ideas, different power. There is hierarchy within this society. So okay. based on this fact, there is inequality. So that inequality, which is like social, in the social differences, brings about social stratif stratification. So for so social stratification, it means there are differences within the society. So they mean the same thing, inequality and stratification. Yeah, it's, yeah. social stratification brings about inequality. Uh, yeah. Do you get it? So that means, when we talk about social inequality, it means different individuals have different privileges. They have different status. They have different power within the society. Yeah. So you don't have the same, we don't have equal opportunity. Yes. That is what social inequality is. So part of it is social stratification. So here I wrote, social stratification occurs when groups have different statuses and different levels of privilege. This happens in all societies, both the past and the present. It's not just maybe in the past or not now. It's been like that for ages. Mm -hmm. So it means that whatever we talk about the society, it is socially constructed. Socially. Yeah, it is socially constructed because individuals, the society determines who do what. Okay, yeah. Do you understand? So as a result of that, we create that status, we create that privilege for you because we want you to do it. So we ha that's why we have social differences. Get the point here. The decision about who do what is created by the society. And this brings about social stratification, which is social differences. So we have social differences in the society because individuals have statuses and power that are separated. Okay. So we have different roles we play in the society. We have different status in the society. So these are social differences. So we have to put in mind that social statuses or, or social differences does not, make, does not make you superior than another. But it is a foundation that gives you that hierarchy to be superior and to be powerful. Okay. Get it? Social differences is not that you are superior than me or I'm superior than you. But it is a foundation that paves way for that hierarchy that will bring about we saying, oh, he has more power, he has more status, he has more authority than me. Mm. He is superior than me. It is not that the, it is not superiority that is social differences, but social differences bring about the foundation where hierarchy will be discussed. So you know, I said there's social construction. So yeah. in, the society determines who do what. So if the society determines who do what, so that means there's social differences in the society, mm -hmm. and as a result of that, what you do determines your role and might give you that status. What I do determines my role and gives me that status. So you might be superior than me because of the role you perform in the society. Is it clear? Yes. So for social satisfaction, it's found in all society based on rules, norms, and values. But in the, the industrial modern society that we have right now, the technological world, yes. social stratification is dynamic. Why is it dynamic? Because every individual wants to improve his status. I don't want to be, this was, all, this was not how I was some six years ago. So I don't want to be like this in the next five years. So mm -hmm. every year that passes by, I want to improve on my status. So that means there's always dynamism in social stratification. Mm -hmm. But in the, in the traditional society, it is static. It is stable. You can't change your status. But in the modern society, we can. Because we want to improve in each of what we do, in each role. We want to get to the debate, we want to get, we want to take a step ahead every time. Yes. So that means we need improvement. So that makes social stratification dynamic in the industrial modern society. Mm -hmm. Is it clear? Yes. So with social stratification, there's need to talk about minority groups. Mm -hmm. You know, we said you have status, you have roles. So that means there might not be place for some group of people within the society. And these are what we call the minority groups. They, they don't have power. They lack power based on maybe factors like religion, factors like disability yes. or age. So they are minority groups. So they, they lack the power. So that is social stratification already. Yes. Do you get it? 
So in the past, social stratification was based on, so in the past, social stratification is based on slavery, caste, and estates. So those are the three ways in which social stratification was based in the past. So I'm going to explain each one now. So for slavery, slavery means you as a group, you as a group, mm -hmm. another group is a property of yours. Mm -hmm. You treat other group as a property. Mm -hmm. So you, you can choose to sell, you can choose to do whatever you, you like to do with that person or that group of people because they are, your, they are your property. So they are your slaves. So those society have citizens and they have slaves. Mm -hmm. Is it clear? Yes. Then we have the case. For the case, we talk, this, the case is rampant in, the, in India. So they use, that, uh, they use that stratification in India. So we have the higher case and the lower case. So for case, the stratification is based on, is, you get the stratification at birth. So you belong to the higher case as soon as you are, you are born to that group. Or you belong to the lower case, case yeah. as soon as you are born into that group. Yes, yes. So you get the stratification here. So there are social differences because you are born into this group, into this case, and you are born into that case. It's like tra traditional. You stay there. You yes, can't. you can't. So, and you can't even marry outside that case. Mm. Okay. So that makes it different from estates. For estates, there's intermarriage and there's social mobility. So that's, that, that's the estate. Est for estate, it's dynamic. It's, there's, social there's, there's social mobility and there's intermarriage. But here, lower case are considered as uh, normal people. The higher case are those that control the society. They control the world in India. Okay. So the higher case cannot, will not be allowed to marry the, the lower case. And lower case cannot even get to, get to the higher case. Mm -hmm. And that is about that. Then we have estate. For estate, it's more similar to caste. But the difference is that there is social mobility. That means you can move from one social ladder to another. Do you get it? And there's intermarriage. That means you can marry from each of the group. So the groups consist of the priest, the nobility who, has, who are the, we call them the aristocrats, and the commoners. So those are the group for the estates. We have the, uh, we have the priest, the nobility, who are the aristocrats, and the commoners. Okay. Is it clear? Yeah. So that's all about social stratification. Then the next thing we need to talk 